Today is April the 6th. Where did Joshua go after the conquest? Let's find out together as we read Joshua 19 to 21. Today, I'd like you to read Joshua 19 to 21. We, can sit, we continue to divide the land among the different tribes in Israel. But uh, interestingly, when it comes to uh, Joshua chapter 19, verse 49, says that Joshua was given a special allotment. Now, if you remember, Caleb received a special allotment. He received a particular town. It was the town, large, fortified, occupied by massive men, giants, they were called. Joshua also received a town. Now, Joshua was from the tribe of Ephraim. So within the territory given to Ephraim, look at verse 1949. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation. For the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. Now, just like Judah lived forever in the land of Judah until they eventually were taken in captivity, Ephraim was also a very solid piece of land. Many leaders of the nation of Israel came from the tribe of Ephraim, in part because there was stability, because they did drive out those who lived in that territory. Enjoy today as you read Joshua chapters 19 through 21. Joshua 19 through 21, New Living Translation. Joshua 19. The second allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their homeland was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's homeland included Beersheba, Sheba, Moleda, Hazar Shul, Bela, Ezem, Eltilad, Beth Hul, Horma, Gziklag, Bek Machoboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebeoth, and Sheruin. Thirteen towns with their surrounding villages. It also included Ain, Rimen, Ether, and Asian, four towns with their villages, including all the surrounding villages as far south as Baalith Beer, also known as Rama of the Negev. This was a homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their allocations of land come from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an allocation within the territory of Judah. The third allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's homeland started at Sarid. From there it went west, going past Marala, touching Dabasheth, and proceeding to the brook east of Jachnaham. In the other direction, the boundary went east, from Sarid to the border of Kislev-Tabor, and from there to Deborah and up to Jephiah. Then it continued east to Gafhefer, Efkazin, and Rimen and turned toward Nia. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hamathon and ended in the valley of Ithael. The towns in these areas included Kada, Nahala, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun included these towns and their surrounding villages. The fourth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Issachar. Its boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kasulith, Shunem, Hapharaim, Shion, Anearoth, Rabbath, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhana, and Beth Peez. The boundary also touched Tabor, Shehazama, and Beth Shemesh, ending at the Jordan River, 16 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Issachar included these towns and their surrounding villages. The fifth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Asher. 
The boundaries included these towns, Helkath, Halai, Beton, Akshaf, Alamalek, Amad, and Maishal. The boundary on the west touched Carmel and Shihor Libnith. Then it turned east toward Beth Dagon and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Ithael, going north to Beth Emek and Nahil. It then continued north to Cable, Abdin, Rehob, Hammon, Cana, and as far as Greater Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Ramah and the fortress of Tyre, where it turned towards Hosha and came to the Mediterranean Sea. The territory also included Mehebel, Aksib, Oma, Aphek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Asher included these towns and their surrounding villages. The six allotment of land went to the clans of Naphtali. Its boundaries ran from Helif, from the Oak of Zaanim, and extended across to Adamai Nekeb, Jabneel, and as far as Lakum, ending at the Jordan River. The western boundary ran past Asnoth Tabor, and then to Hukok, and touched the border of Zebulun in the south, the border of Asher on the west, and the Jordan River on the east. The fortified cities included in this territory were Zidim, Zur, Hamath, Rakith, Kinrith, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kedesh, Edrai, in Hazor, Yarun, Magdael, Horam, Beth Anith, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali included these towns and their surrounding villages. The seventh allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Dan. The land allocated as their homeland included the following towns, Zora, Eshtael, Ir Shemesh, Shealaban, Ajalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, El Tika, Gibeathon, Baalath, Jehud, Ben Abirak, Gathrimon, Mejarkin, Rakon, and the territory across from Joppa. But the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land, so they attacked the town of Laish. They captured it, slaughtered its people, and settled there. They renamed the town Dan after their ancestor. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Dan included these towns and their surrounding villages. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation, for the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose timnath Sira in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed. Joshua 20 the Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge, as I instructed Moses. If anyone kills another person accidentally and unintentionally, can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. Upon reaching one of these cities, the one who caused the death will appear before the elders at the city gate and present his case. They must allow him to enter the city and give him a place to live among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the slayer to them, for he killed the other person unintentionally and without previous hostility. But the slayer must stay in that city and be tried by the local assembly, which will render a judgment, and he must continue to live in that city until the death of the high priest who was in office at the time of the accident. After that, he is free to return to his own home in the town from which he fled. The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kadesh of Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem, in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kedaroth Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. 
On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated Bezer in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead in the territory of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. These cities were set apart for all the Israelites as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way, they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the local assembly. Joshua 21 Then the leaders of the tribe of Levi came to consult with Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the leaders of the other tribes of Israel. They came to them at Shiloh, in the land of Canaan, and said, the Lord commanded Moses to give us towns to live in and pasture land for our livestock. So by the command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave the Levites the following towns and pasture lands out of their own grants of land. The descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Kohathite clan within the tribe of Levi, were allocated thirteen towns that were originally assigned to the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The other families of the Kohathite clan were allotted ten towns from the tribes of Ephraim, Dan, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The clan of Gershon were allotted thirteen towns from the tribes of Issachar, Asher, and Naphtali, and the half-tribe of Manasseh and Bashan. The clan of Merari was allotted twelve towns from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites obeyed the Lord's command to Moses and assigned these towns and pasture lands to the Levites by casting sacred lots. The Israelites gave the following towns to the tribes of Judah and Simeon to the descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Kohathite clan within the tribe of Levi. Since the sacred lot fell to them first, Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with its surrounding pasture lands, Arba was the ancestor of Anak, but the open fields beyond the town and the surrounding villages were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, as his possession. The following towns, with their pasture lands, were given to the descendants of Aaron the priest. Hebron, a city of refuge for those who accidentally kill someone, Libna, Jadar, Eshtemoa, Holon, Deber, Ain, Judah, and Beth Shemesh. Nine towns from these two tribes. From the tribes of Benjamin, the priests were also given the following towns with their pasture lands. Gibeon, Geba, Enothoth, and Elman. Four towns. So all thirteen towns with their pasture lands were given to the priests, the descendants of Aaron. The rest of the Kohathite clan from the tribe of Levi was allotted the following towns and pasture lands from the tribe of Ephraim. Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, a city of refuge for those who accidentally kill someone. Gezer, Kibzaim, and Beth Horn. Four towns. The following towns and pasture lands were allotted to the priests from the tribe of Dan. El Taka, Gibbethon, Aijalon, and Gethrimon. Four towns. The half tribe of Manasseh allotted the following towns with their pasture lands to the priests. Taanak and Gathrimon. Two towns, so in all, ten towns with their pasture lands, were given to the rest of the Kohathite clan. The descendants of Gershon, another clan within the tribe of Levi, received the following towns with their pasture lands from the half-tribe of Manasseh. Golan and Bashan, a city of refuge for those who accidentally kill someone, and Beashtara, two towns. From the tribe of Issachar, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Kishion, Deborah, Jarmuth, and Enganon, four towns. From the tribe of Asher, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Mishal, Abdon, Helkath, and Rehob, four towns. From the tribe of Naphtali, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Kedish and Galilee, a city of refuge for those who accidentally kill someone. Hamath, Dor, and Carton, three towns. So in all, thirteen towns with their pasture lands were allotted to the clan of Gershon. The rest of the Levites, the Merarite clan, were given the following towns with their pasture lands from the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneam, Karta, Dimne, and Nahalel. Four towns. From the tribe of Reuben, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Bezer, Jahaz, Kedemoth, and Mephaeth. 
four towns. From the tribe of Gad, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Ramoth in Gilead, a city of refuge for those who accidentally kill someone. Mahanam, Heshbon, and Jazer. Four towns. So in all, twelve towns were allotted to the clans of Merari. The total number of towns and pasture lands within Israelite territory given to the Levites came to 48. Every one of these towns had pasture land surrounding it. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land he had sworn to give to their ancestors. And they took possession of it and settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors. None of their enemies could stand against them, for the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies. Not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken had came true. Scripture reading by Amir Rana. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll look at Joshua's closing remarks.